Myanmar is becoming an attractive option for foreign investors. After five decades of military rule, the country's junta was dissolved in March 2011. Former General Ten Sein became president of the first civilian government since the army seized power in 1962. He's already overseen numerous reforms. In a push towards democracy, hundreds of political prisoners have been freed, and after years of house arrest, opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi has been allowed to enter parliament. Myanmar's economy has also opened up. These reforms have led to the lifting of most Western sanctions. As a result, a five-fold surge in local and foreign investment was reported for the 2012-2013 financial year, with over $1.4 billion of investment from abroad. For the same period, GDP rose by 6.5%. The government has also launched a drive to increase taxes, to finance spending in long-neglected sectors such as health and education. But Myanmar still faces many challenges. Some 26% of the population lives under the poverty line, 32% of children under five suffer from malnutrition, infrastructure is lacking, and communal violence continues to affect Rohingya Muslims in particular.